Giovanni, and I'm an iPad DJ and producer. Today I'm gonna to teach you guys what I do and how I do it. So this is the Korg application. This has been a really popular app on the App Store, and it is a um, recreation of a very popular hardware device called an Electride. And what's great about it is that it really does sort of replicate what you can typically do with this, with this drum machine. It's been used a lot in dance music, so. This is a dubstep beat. So it's really cool. Um, these tubes don't do anything. They're just there for decoration. It's really funny. I get that question all the time. But uh, let me show you guys. You can either switch beats using this uh, this dial here, or there's a browser. You can go through and I say, okay, I like minimal tech now. Let's do this one. And then in time, it will sync. And then as soon as it gets through the 16 bars, it will go. Cool. I kind of like this beat, so let's stay here. So what's cool too, I close that, and then there's an oscillator here, so you can, you can change the pitch, change the depth, and the speed. Kind of like that. So we've we've been successfully sort of manipulating this preset sound, which is really cool. Another cool thing is that you have different effects here as well. There's reverb, chorus, this is a filter. That's kind of like a um, lo-fi version and a delay. So this is pretty cool. I like this app a lot because you've got a lot of preset sounds and you can you can really adjust them to and edit them however you like. So the next app I'm going to show you is Looptastic HD. I happen to like this app a lot. So here. Um, I've got some samples that I've made myself. This is a very popular song by a band called Mike Snow. So this, I made the loop myself, so just keep in mind it doesn't come with the app. But let's say here, I want to add a uh, progressive beat. So what it does is it takes the original tempo of the first sound that I put, which is here, and then it will adjust the rest of the sounds that I bring in to that first one. So what I'm going to do now is add effects. So I've separated out. This is the, the Mike Snow uh, loop that I created. And these are the rest. So let me take that original, this one, and turn the other um, sections off. I'm going to apply a high pass filter. So it's pretty cool. Other things too, you can do like a noise gate. Love that. And then I kind of like this one, the Bit Crusher. And I can also hold it. So I really, really enjoy this one. And then if I want, come in here and... Let's say I like this and I want to uh, make it a little slower. I can come here and drag my finger across. That was at 130 before. So this is at 100 now, so it's kind of a nice groove here. So then if I want, let's say I take that, I want to add some dubstep to it. I've been talking about that a lot. It's a very popular genre of music in the kind of underground. So cool. I happen to like this one, Wobble. So I can start taking out these bass lines here. I can... So now, I, without losing anything and without changing any of the, the rhythm, the BPM, it's sort of, I've successfully and seamlessly melded these different genres of music together. So that's why I use this app a lot in live performance. This is the iDaft app. People love this one, and I love this one. So here we go. I, these are just different pads and this is great because what it also has is the beat. So anyone who wants, this is a free application, you can just grab this and you can create your own awesome Daft Punk recreation. So that's super fun. So let's do one really quick. So that's super fun, endlessly fun. This is the Groove Maker um, 
set of apps that IK Multimedia makes. And they're already known for, you know, a lot, they, they make different effects for, um, like they make Amplitube, and now for this, this, they've already started making these apps for iPhone, and now on the iPad, they're even better. So you pick a song, it's basically a series of sounds that they've already uh, bundled together. And just to hit, you just hit play, and it has a whole bunch of randomized loops. But if you want, just hit one button, and it will change all the loops. But let's say I like this percussion, and I don't like um, the instruments. So all it does is just changes different elements. Or if I want, I can come in and I can change the loops myself. So let's say I don't like this vocal. So I can come in here or over here. So I added a string line instead. And if I want, I can activate these guys too. Add some bass. So it's really cool. This is very fun and it's probably the fastest way for people to get started just making music because right out of the box, you can start playing some pretty cool stuff. Thanks so much. I had a wonderful time with you guys and be sure to check out destroythesilence.com for more about my adventures in making music using iPads.